Hello, and welcome back to Dragon Soul Studios, aka my bedroom. Today, we're going to be looking at banners in our ad tutorial, as requested by DMAX. It's been a whole month since I promised not only DMAX, but everyone else that I would be making this tutorial, so let's get right into it. In this project, you can see that I've simply changed out the, uh, the little sprite we had for our retry button, and I've renamed it to interstitial. I have also added uh, so that it will show up and tell you that it's a interstitial button. Pretty much all I've done. So, actually it is all I've done. It's not just pretty much, it is actually all I've done. So, <laughs> let's get uh, started with adding a banner. The first thing we're going to want to do is head over to AdMob and get your banner ID. Once that is done, you're going to type in banner ID over here. Uh, let me just get my ID. Like so. After that, you're going to want to add the banner. So you're going to do that in the creative end as well. Doing Google Mobile Ads. Add banner. Right. Banner ID. Google Mobile Ads Banner. Like that. Uh, we can just uh, actually comment this as well. Uh, add Banner. Even though it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, there is different ways you can add a banner. So you can also add Banner at Location. Which is Google Mobile Ads Add Banner at. And then uh, Banner ID. Google Mobile Ads Banner. And then you just you just pop in your X and Y coordinate right there. We are not gonna use that one though, but it's a good thing to know about. So after that, we're gonna need to go into async, asynchronous, async, asynchronous, asynchronous social, and then we're gonna add uh, ID is equal to async load. Type switch ident case banner load if async load is equal to one, so that's uh, loaded. And what we're basically doing now is we're getting uh, getting the uh, we're going to get the banner width from Google Mobile Ads, the banner height from Google Mobile Ads, and then we're going to get the display and the display, uh, no, the displayed height and the display width of the consumer's uh, product that they're using. And then we're going to resize it uh, to fit, basically. So uh, underscore BW is equal to Google Mobile Ads banner get width. And then you can just copy that one. Like so, and then we're going to do uh, BH. Oh, sorry, the first one is the uh, width. Width. I thought I did that, but I didn't. Then we're going to do variable HH is equal to display get height. And then WW is equal to display get width. Like so, and then we need to move the move the banner. So we're going to do Google Mobile Ads move banner to uh, let's see www forward slash two and bw forward slash two divided by two hh negative uh, minus underscore bh and then close that off. And then we need to break that. I did find this somewhere that explained it. Uh, I can't remember if it was in the in the included PDF or if it was on the forums while I was researching this video, but uh, credits to those that actually helped me with that. And I completely I have, uh, we need to add a second line over here. So if underscore ID is equal to Google Mobile 
async event and then we should be able to close it off properly uh, variable ident is only used once that can't be true can it it is true because because <laughs> I'm I'm just uh, I'm just uh, fucking shit up everywhere ain't I so we we need to actually add a variable ident is equal to async load forward uh, forward bracket open bracket I guess it's called is equal to one so that's uh, type right so that should be everything we should now have a banner that's going to pop up and uh, you can move the banner around using this variable here adjusting it tweaking it to your liking or you can use the add banner at location but I would definitely implement the uh, Google mobile ads banner get width banner get height display height display get width so that you know that it's going to fit properly and that you don't get a 500 pixel wide banner in a 200 pixel wide screen so let's pause it here and I'm going to come back once the emulator has started so you can see it in action. So we got our interstitial, the ad should pop up in a second. Okay, the ad popped up at uh, nil nil, at zero zero. So, that, uh, as I said, just uh, adjust this uh, under Google Mobile mobile ads move banner to get it into the location that you want hope you enjoyed please subscribe like the video in the next tutorial we're going to be adding rewarded ads so that means that if you have a reward you want to give people when they're watching your ads and watching them to the end you can do that in the, with the method learned in a new video thanks for watching goodbye